love. The fatal flaw. Love is what will destroy them all. Daytime is an extremely uh, important genre for, for, especially for actors, because it's it's really difficult. What's difficult about it is not the the content exactly, but the the quantity of it. You're constantly turning over scripts, and, and it's very difficult to to make it fresh and real. He was the evil, handsome, arched eyebrow kind of guy. The, the character had killed uh, 11 people. I shot a dog. I punched the lights out of a little old lady. I pretty much slept my way through the town. Um, and scammed as much money as I possibly could from anyone that I came within three feet of. You are going to play a corpse with equal success. You're wrong, Jonathan. John has such a specific look. He always has. Now he has the shock white hair, but back then he had shock black hair. I think it, it's detachable. That's my guess. It was this, probably the strongest sense of community that I've had over an extended period of time as an actor. What I remember mostly about the first time I met him was his diction was so clear and precise. It was astonishing. I remember one occurrence when he and I were going out to lunch and we had to get gas and we stopped at this gas station. And before he even was able to grab the thing, some guy, hey, don't touch that. What are you, that's the... I just paid money on that one. You're using my gas, like this. And John yelled back, I did not touch that pump. You know, and I heard every syllable, every fricative was ex exploding off of his tongue. Listen to me, I did not touch that pump. You know, and I, th <laughs> I thought, this is a different kind of guy. Oh, I like that. Oh, so Yeah, I think it was a big break for me because it gave me a, a real sense of, of testing comedy out. And uh, it was by accident, and uh, but also because it's a cra I have a, it's a pretty crazy mind up there. Seinfeld was a different thing for me. It was a chance to play a character that was so similar to the grandiosity of the character that I played on Loving. It's such a great presence, and I thought, you know, for comedy, all we really need to do is to turn that dial three or four more notches, and it will go like this. John will become a character. Yes. Jay Peterman was just, I mean, his over, he was a one-man parade. John has courage. I can't imagine. He's got tremendous courage. He said, I'm going to do this television show about dancing. It's going to be called the Dancing with the Stars. I think it might be good. Before John was on Dancing with the Stars, he was a horrible dancer. He would dance like this. His shoulders would bop. Hey, like he was in a fight. He was able to find a way to, to dance that worked for him. That was astonishing. We found ourselves cheering loudly at home. He scares little children when he goes into stores as if he were wearing some kind of mask. He's very gracious and uh, generous. And uh, uh, may he rest in peace. Is this for his eulogy? Is that what this is for? No, seems like a long time ago, though. A lot of water over the bridge. <laughs>